I'm Dr. John Scharfenberg from Loma Linda University, where I'm professor of nutrition and have been for 58 years. And I've been working with uh, Valmar Health. You can find about, out about them on the website. And they have a cookbook out and things that put into practice the theory that we talk about. Now, today I'd like to speak a little bit about vitamin B12. A friend of mine from uh, the Czech Republic has been over this country, is a professor of, in, a, in nutrition in a university back on the East Coast, and for the last nine years he's been studying vitamin B12. He's written a book on it, manuscript, and we're going to get it translated and used over in the Czech Republic too. And he brought some things to my attention, that uh, two things particularly. One, more people are deficient than we used to think, and number two, it takes a higher dose to treat it than we used to think. Now, the idea that more people are deficient. I ran into a doctor just a few days ago. Uh, he's a surgeon, but he, he's an older man. Uh, he can't feel the floor very well now. Now, the most likely cause is a B12 deficiency. And his doctor hasn't done anything to handle it, or has done very little. He hasn't had the test done to see really if he's deficient or not. Uh, so I suggested he get the right test and let's see if he's deficient. So there are a lot of people that are deficient that don't know it. And we need to check more of them routinely. Now, what are the symptoms if you're vitamin B12 deficient? Well, you can be tired. I still remember that black girl, 15 years of age. She'd never had any animal product in her life, except one time. She was out at a college, and she got a taste of an egg and liked it so well she ate a dozen. <laughs> but she's never eaten any other animal food ever any other time. But she got to feeling tired. I asked her if she was tired. She said, no, she's not tired. But then when I found that she had this B12 deficiency, the anemia, and I gave her B12, she began to feel so much better that she came back to me and she said, now I understand why you asked if I was tired. She said, I thought everybody at the end of a day's work felt like I did. So she was tired, but just didn't recognize it as being tired. You can also have a sore tongue. That's one of the first signs. Another sign is you're not quite mentally right. Now, you might not know it, but your friends might detect something wrong. Uh, you could have a sore low back. That's common. You can have numbness and tingling of your fingers, menstrual irregularities until menstruation stops. Uh, you can't feel the floor very well. You, that's when your spinal nerves get affected. And then you get in a wheelchair and eventually die if it's not treated. Now, how do you know if you're deficient? Who should be checked? First of all, I think all total vegetarians, vegans, need to be checked. They should be on B12 regularly. And uh, how about the lacto-ovo-vegetarians? Well, they're getting some through their milk and eggs, but most of them aren't getting enough. So even they should be checked. And then anybody over 50 might not have the right elements in his stomach, hydrochloric acid, intrinsic factor and things, that he may be deficient too, even though he's using milk and things with B12 in them. Now, how are we going to tell if they're low? I went to a doctor, my doctor, personal family doctor, and he checked my blood serum level. It was low. But if you're not getting B12 in your diet, of course it's going to be low. But that doesn't tell if you're deficient or not. So that's not a good enough test. And I reviewed the literature uh, to find out about this. And the literature, scientific literature says you should have at least two tests done. Actually, if you have one done, the right one, I think that may be enough. And that's MMA, methylmalonic acid. If that gets elevated, it shows 
you're vitamin B12 deficient. Now, some people like to go just by serum levels, and I don't think that's good enough. But overseas, in many countries, we don't do the MMA. And so you have to go by serum levels. But for an older person above 50, anything below 500, I think, is suspicious. Uh, now, another way some people tell is they look to see if you have homocystinemia. That means the red cells uh, get big, your homocysteine goes up, and it means that you're deficient of either folate, folic acid, or B12, or vitamin B6, but you don't know which one. Now you can play around and find out, or you can take a multiple vitamin tablet. But if you take the MMA test, the methylmalonic acid test, that is specific for vitamin B12 deficiency. And if you're deficient, we now know that you've got to be on a bigger dose to recover more quickly. Uh, Victor Herbert used to say a tenth of a microgram was enough to, if, if you absorb that much, you had plenty. And we used to treat people with just 10 micrograms or 100 micrograms. They've now done studies to show that after six weeks of daily treatment with B12, after 16 weeks, with daily treatment of B12, those who got at least 500 micrograms or 1,000 micrograms got back to normal MMA. Their methyl malonic acid returned to normal. It was down to where it should be, okay? But uh, the smaller doses aren't doing much good. Now, overseas in many countries, it's hard to get B vitamin B12. You can get it in a multiple vitamin uh, tablet, but in small amounts. But I think we need to check more people, and I think when we treat them, we should put them on a higher dose. The ones that are most important that they should get this are the pregnant women. Now, even though your liver does store some, we don't think those stores are available for body use. So a woman who is pregnant, for her baby to get the B12 that it should have, the woman needs to be taking orally in her mouth B12, either uh, through an animal product or B12 tablet. The body stores just are not available to use. Now, can't your body make vitamin B12? Yes, it's made in the large intestine, but it's not absorbed from the large intestine. So it doesn't do any good there. It's only absorbed from the small intestine. I did see one time where they thought in the lower end of the small intestine, in the ileum, there was a little bit reduced. Well, how did Adam and Eve get along without any animal product? I think they were in good health. I think they were producing enough B12 that they didn't have to have it uh, from food. Uh, now, these older people can be deficient even though they are eating plenty of products with B12 in them. The meat would have a lot. Uh, the milk would have plenty if they used a lot of milk. But even though they're getting a lot, they may not have the intrinsic factor or the hydrochloric acid, which is necessary for the absorbing of the vitamin B12. Now, how much should we have? Well, as I said, in 16 weeks, those that got the 500 micrograms a day or 1,000 micrograms a day re responded, their methylmalonic acid came back to normal, whereas those on smaller doses did not. So I think we need to start giving people more uh, uh, higher amounts of, these, uh, of this nutrient. Now, milk does have some in. You have about 9 tenths of a microgram. Food and Drug Administration says you need 2.4 micrograms a day. This is, to my mind, insufficient because I think on this level we're finding so many people who are deficient that we need to raise the amount. And in treating, it, it's not adequate for treatment. So we need to do that. Uh, but more people need to be treated than ever been treated before because we haven't been testing. We need to test more people when there's any suspicious sign whatsoever. And especially 
all the people over 50 and vegans and lacto-oval vegetarians need to, need to be checked out. Hi, I'm Marcy Hironis with Balmar Health. To see more videos with Dr. Schaffenbrigade, you guys should subscribe to my YouTube channel. We talk about a ton of fun stuff like healthy vegan recipes, product reviews, health and beauty tips, and so much more, and I want all of you to be a part of it. Let me know in the comment section if there's anything else you guys would like to see. Thank you so much for watching today, and we will see you next time.